So and and two weeks is, no. is 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 the regular you know caveat that Trump always puts out uh, in most of his promises. Dr. Ravi Kumar Gupta, uh, you know the Iron Dome is of course extremely effective, but the fact of the matter is, and the other panelists have also enunciated this, sir, uh, that when it comes to strategic depth, Israel does have a challenge. Uh, Iran does not. How does that change the equation here, especially with this new system coming in? Yes, uh, see, okay. first of all, I fully agree that yes, uh, as far as the strategic depth is concerned, uh, the Israel has, uh, has this as a weak point, and uh, Iran is much more capable in that part. But at the same time, uh, when it comes to advanced technologies, Israel is way ahead. It is way ahead. So I'm sure that uh, they they know their weakness, and they will be definitely taking care of. Uh, uh, different means how to overcome that weakness uh, as far as the strategic depth is concerned. As far as the technology is concerned and this new uh, Barak uh, Megan system is concerned, this this is a, uh, I, I would say, a next kind of a next generation system. What they are doing is they are integrating all whatever they had. They had the, 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 the state of the art, the latest generation uh, missile systems, air defense systems, they are putting them together. And uh, this one is mounted on the ship. See, as uh, our previous panelists were telling, that uh, the, the Iran border is far away from Israel. So when the missiles are coming, and if it is a hypersonic missile, uh, the, the present level of you know, air defenses, they have very serious problems in handling them. And you need to tackle them way, uh, when they are still far away. Then all, that is the only part. because. We are all saying it is a hypersonic missile, but it is not a hypersonic cruise missile. It is basically a ballistic missile which has a maneuverability. So when it is, uh, it is instead of following a typical ballistic trajectory, what happens is that towards the end of its trajectory, it suddenly changes its course. So you might be thinking that it may, might be hitting at point A, but it goes uh, 100 kilometers away from that and hits the point B. So that's the real problem. And I think in that aspect, this particular ship mounted system and they have to have a larger number of these systems as well, uh, not only ship mounted but also the uh, mobile systems which can take care and all integrated together just like our akash team we have the very large area defense which is all the sensors all the missile systems different individual air defense systems like akash and like mr7 and all they have been all integrated together so that is a kind of system which i think uh, with this kind of uh, Megan, uh, Bagak uh, Megan, uh, Israel is trying to come up with something similar to that, which is specific to its own need. I, I would like to emphasize that every country has its own requirements. India is a very large country. Our systems, our, we have two major enemies, uh, adversaries on the western border and the north and northeastern border. Uh, the, the situation is entirely different. Whereas if we compare Israel, its own area is very limited, but the enemy is surrounded by enemies from all around. So the, it, what it is trying to do is it is evolving its own systems according to its specific needs and which Israel, Israel is fully capable of doing it because it has total control over the technology. So that's what I would like to emphasize in it. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.